You have a summer job that pays time and a half for overtime. That is, if you work more than 40 hours per week, your hourly wage for extra hours is 1.5 times your normal hourly wage of 30 pesos. Question number one, write a piecewise function that gives your weekly pay variable e in terms of the number of hours you work. So, kukunin daw natin yung ating piecewise function. Uh, may variable tayo na p and h. So, yung gagamitin natin yung pay per hour. Z equal to sa ating function ngayon. So, kapag nag-work ka daw ng hanggang 40 hours, babayaran ka niya ng 30 pesos per hour. So, 30 times yung hour na ginugol mo sa trabaho. If, that is, yung hour mo is greater than zero, but less than or equal to 40 hours. Let's say, nag-work ka lang ng 20 hours sa loob ng, let's say, one week. 20 hours ka lang nag-work. So, 20 times 30, yun yung bayad sa'yo. Paano pag limang oras ka lang nag-work sa loob ng isang linggo? So, 30 times 5, yun yung magiging bayad sa'yo. Pero, condition natin, pero paano pag lumagpas ka naman ng 40? Kapag yung hour mo ay mas malaki sa 40, let's say 41, 42, o 45, magkano ibabayad niya yun sa'yo? So, isasolve natin yan. So, kanina, nakuha natin ito. Yung 30 times, let's say, nag-work ka ng 40. I-add natin yung overtime. Pero may condition tayo sa overtime. Na 1.5. 1.5 times yung hourly wage natin. Um, times, magkano ba yung hourly wage? 30. Ayan. Multiply natin yan. Quantity, H minus 40. Ba't tayo nagkaroon ng H minus 40? Yung hour natin, minus 40, ay eh, nababayaran na kasi siya dito. So, kailangan natin siya i-less kasi bayad na yung H minus 40. Let's say, nag-work ka na ngayon ng 48. So, 48 minus 40, 8 hours na yung overtime mo. Ito yung tinutubay niya. So, i-multiply natin yan. 1.5 times 30. That is... 45. So, kuhin natin ito ngayon. 30H. H kasi natin is 40. O, 30 times. O, ano natin yan? Simplify. 30 times 40. 30 times 40 is 1,200 plus 1.5 times 30 45. Then, quantity H minus 40. Move natin doon. Itong condition natin. If H is greater than 40. So, ito yung computation natin. Kaya nakuha ito. Ulitin natin. Saan galing si H minus 40? Yun yung, yung H dito, yung overtime mo. Yung number of hours na natrabaho ka. Bakit minus 40? Kasi bayad na siya dito. Ano? Yay nito, bababayaran na siya dyan. Kaya niless natin. So, ayan ngayon. Yung pag-represent ng ating piecewise function. So, number two, how much will you get paid if you work 45 hours? Ayan, to complete natin. Nag-work ka ng 45 hours. So, ito yung gagamitin natin. So, P of 45 number of hours natin. Then, 1,200 plus 
T5 times ang number of hours natin, yung H natin ay 45 daw. 45 minus 40. So we have 1,200 plus 45 times 45 minus 40, 5. So 1,200 plus 45 times 5. Add natin. So 45 times 5. 45 times 5. So 25 carry 2. 4 times 5, 20 plus 2, 2, 2, 5. So, 2, 2, 5. So, add natin ngayon, 1,200 plus 2, 2, 5. That is 1,425. Ito ngayon, ibabayad sa'yo kapag nag-work ka ng 45 hours sa loob na 1 week. So, ayan ang ating application of piecewise function. Sana naiintindihan ninyo. Don't forget to share, like, and follow Senior Pablo TV.